Hey guys, good morning. This is Bill Murphy here with MMORPG.com. As you can see, I am sitting in my car on, what day is today? Thursday, July 23rd, and I went to bed last night around nine o'clock, like really early, actually, because I was exhausted. And apparently I missed something pretty major happening. Um, you may or may not have heard already, but it looks like, I can't believe I'm saying this, John Smedley um, is out at Daybreak Game Studios, formerly Sony Online Entertainment. Um, he has stepped down as CEO of the company, and he will be taking on another role when he comes back, but he's basically taking a sabbatical from the industry right now. Um, if you aren't familiar with the story, right, uh, you know, Daybreak Games Company was basically sold off by Sony as Sony Computer Entertainment of America try to, tries to refocus all of their efforts basically onto the PlayStation. They divested themselves of Sony Online Entertainment and it was bought by a venture capital firm who then, and it became Daybreak Game Studios, same property, same everything, you know, they're still making EverQuest, uh, next, they, they still have all their other games and everything like that, which you guys probably all know that anyway, so I'm just kind of recapping. Uh, and Smedley stayed on as the president and, uh, uh, and CEO of the company. But things started to go a little bit crazy for Smed, as uh, a plane he was riding was nearly brought down, was... It had a bomb threat placed against it by a hacker squad called the uh, the Lizard Squad, I believe, if I'm getting that right. Um, and the, the games, the company's games, were DDoSed uh, by the same the same bunch of hackers and everything like that. And then one of the leading hackers, uh, as a part of the the Lizard Squad, was arraigned and brought in for sentencing, and he got basically a two year a two year sentence with no jail time something like that I'm you know I'm not at my computer right now I can't read you the details uh, if you want to find out all of the details you can just head over to mmorpg.com that's one of the top news stories on the page right now um, so and then amidst all this Smedley was on Twitter and on Reddit really vocally speaking his mind essentially saying I'm coming after you to this kid who is basically just a punk hacker uh, somewhere overseas in Europe and and, you know, I think a lot of people were very happy that he was doing this because, uh, you know, it's nice to see a CEO of a company basically say, you know what, enough of this bull crap. I'm just going to, I'm going to do something about it. And, um, but at the same time, a lot of it was like hot air. He was just an angry man, um, who was getting threatened and had, had enough. He reacted the way any one of us would react, I think. Um, now w the problem is, is he's a CEO of a major game studio and I don't think his new bosses or the new um, the new board members with the company, uh, the investment firm that bought Daybreak Games, were necessarily happy. This is just I have no there's no I have no um, no insight into what's really going on at Daybreak Game Studios. This is just my opinion. Um, I think not only did Smed probably really need a vacation, a nice long vacation after the stress of the company selling and all their games and everything like that and the DDoSs and the personal attacks and the hackings. He probably needed a vacation. But I also expect that somewhere along the lines, the uh, the people that are footing the bill for Daybreak now said, listen, I think maybe you need to take a less public position within the company. We don't want you gone, but you can't, you shouldn't be the CEO anymore. I think maybe you should take a break and come back as something else. So I expect we'll see Smed come back. Um, you know, I, you've never been able to silence the guy in all of his years since like the, the mid nineties that he's been with Sony online entertainment and now daybreak. Um, I expect whenever he comes back as he'll still be speaking his mind. Um, but his Twitter account's gone. He's off of Reddit now. Um, and you know, I think he's taking a much needed break from everything. He needs to recharge his batteries, uh, take stock of, of what's going on and just kind of, uh, chill. I, I've met Smed quite a few times. I'm not very personally close with him actually, but he's always been a very, very nice guy. Um, he's very passionate about games and very passionate about what he does. And though he takes a lot of the bad press for things like Star Wars Galaxies, and the, the new game experience and all that stuff, he still has always just wanted to make good games, and that's something that's admirable. Um, and I think maybe he's gotten caught up in a lot of the drama uh, surrounding the transition away from SOE to Daybreak Games and the hacking and all that stuff, and he just needs a break. And I, I hope he takes this time off and goes somewhere sunny. Uh, well, 
where it's sunnier than San Diego. Go somewhere really nice and relaxing where there's lots of booze flowing <laughs> and just takes a break. <clears throat> Um, in the meantime, we're just going to have to see what this all means for Daybreak as a whole. Uh, I know we're waiting, waiting, waiting patiently for more information on EQ Next as development has kind of shifted a little bit away from Landmark and now is full full tilt on EQ Next and H1Z1. Um, and we'll, we'll just have to kind of wait and see. But wow, guys, uh, I can't believe we're saying this. And here's my, my gut reaction for today is that Smedley is is out as CEO of Daybreak Game Studios and it's he's going to be coming back but who knows as what um, and yeah that's that how's that for your Thursday morning story have a good one guys don't forget to follow us on Twitter Twitch YouTube and Facebook at MMORPGcom without the dot and you can find me on Twitter at the Bill Murphy see you later Make sure to level up your MMO knowledge by visiting MMORPG.com, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and by following us on social media. To catch up on the week's biggest MMO news, watch our latest MMO FTW. And to see if there's a better MMO out there for you, watch one of our latest First Impressions videos. Thanks for watching.